Hey, John here from B2Web, and uh, this is a quick video overview slash review of the Streamline theme by Studio Press. Here we are, we're looking at a, uh, a demo here. A few of the things I really like about this, this is a updated Streamline theme from a few years ago, and it works in the Genesis framework. And uh, right here you get this uh, prominent uh, subscribe uh, section here. It's uh, something that Studio Press has been doing with some of their latest themes, and I think it's... it's uh, it's really great. And we have another uh, email sign up box right here. You have to inter integrate that with, uh, th they suggest uh, Google Feed Burner. I use it on some websites. If Google Feed Burner is easy to set up and it's easy to integrate this. And this is widget based. Up here in the top right, we have what they call the uh, top header right widget zone. And this uses a uh, social plugin to input these uh, social sharing buttons. Now going down, this is uh, I really like this. These featured pages. These are uh, three widget zones right here. You know, I don't really like the images they chose for these, but you can put a much nicer image here. That'd be the feature uh, image on each of the respective pages, and this uh, front and center. And it's this uh, right here that I think that Streamline could be used as a business website. I don't think it's the best business website theme, but I think it, it could certainly be used, especially if you have a, uh, a sort of a real business slash blog hybrid type website. But this would definitely could work for uh, creating a business website. So uh, visitors come here, you're obviously going to put your most important uh, featured pages there, you know, probably services, about products, whatever. Now, here we have something that's uh, unique to this theme. And with the posts, they have uh, the way you, you select an image in your post is the featured image, and it'll actually display the image above the title. And I really like this. I wish more themes had this option um, for that, because here's what's cool about it. Somebody shows up to your page, your post, you get this cool looking above the fold image that's that catches your eye, adds a, a nice bit of professionalism to the website, and then there's the post. Going down, still on the home page here, uh, so you can set out the number of posts that you can display on your home page, and there's three here. And at the bottom we have a three widget zone footer, so these widget zones, these this content here will show up on every page of your website. And then at the very bottom is the, the sort of what I call a hard copy footer for this theme. That's it in, in a nutshell. It has uh, the usual sidebar and the layouts are only three, so you only have the two, two column option uh, or a full width option for any page or post. So let's take a look at the back end of this and see how we would construct this theme. I've got my uh, my website here. We're in the dashboard. So I've installed Genesis and so I get my Genesis menu there. And then we have the usual WordPress menus. The The bulk of your configuration is, is going to be done of course in, in the widget uh, section. So let's go there and just give you an idea of the widgets and get familiar with those. So we have the primary sidebar. We have that header right which is where the social media buttons were. Now we have this newsletter widget which is where the right here right above the uh, featured pages section this is your your newsletter widget and in order to uh, to get that set up all you do is is you drag your genesis e news updates there and you put in title throw some text in there and your google feed burner id and you're good to go and it's all set up um, now we have those featured pages right here. Those widget zones are right here. Featured 1, Featured 2, Featured 3. Very simple. You don't have to, you know, because it's a widget zone, you don't have to link to a page if you don't want to. You could, you could throw in text, you could throw in large images, you could, you could basically create it any way you like because it's a widget zone. It's a free-for-all. After post, there's a widget for the after post, and this is this is kind of cool. You can put ads in there, or uh, like like an author box, or something you want to show up uh, uh, after every single post. And where that appears on the website is here. You go to a post, and you scroll down, 
and we've got this gray section, this gray box. It's uh, after post widget, and you can you put AdSense in there or whatever you want. You can put a subscriber box in there if you want, if you use an autoresponder. And then we have our three footer widget zones right there. So when you are in a post add post page, just where you do a little bit more customization, I might as well show you that. You've got your content section, your SEO input section. Choose your uh, layout and your categories and tags. In order to get this image to show above the post, you just you're going to deal with the featured image. Usually what I do is, is when you upload an image, which you do right here, you click here, there's an option in the uh, image configuration box and you can set as the featured image and then that will display above the post, which I think is a really nice touch for this theme. So that uh, wraps up the uh, uh, quick overview of the Streamline theme. I didn't really get into the whole Genesis side of things. Uh, there's a link to my Genesis review and I have actually two Genesis videos there. You can check those out as well.